So what's the title of this article? Master on the Mound. As a good reader, you automatically think strategically and actively to understand what you read. As a tutor, your challenge is to learn specific reading comprehension strategies to teach explicitly, one at a time, to your learner. By learning comprehension strategies, your learner will become aware of how to think in order to make meaning while reading. Skimming is a comprehension strategy that helps readers get to know a text without reading it thoroughly. Good readers skim texts automatically, but struggling readers must be explicitly taught the steps involved in skimming, such as reading the title, subtitles, and headings, looking at illustrations, reading the first and last sentence of each paragraph, looking for key words, and thinking about the text's meaning. So, let's use this front page of um, the sports page from uh, yesterday. Okay. And again, skimming is just to tell us the general idea. So we want to sort of get an idea of what were the most important things that happened in the sports world yesterday. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. How do we know that that's going to be what this is? The front page. Front page, yeah. The front page always has the most important things. So if we just skim the front page of the sports section in yesterday's paper, do you think we're going to get a pretty good idea of what happened yeah. in the sports world yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Do you think we need to read every single word on this front page to get a general idea of what happened yesterday? No. No. So let's now follow each of the steps. So it says, number one, read the title, subtitles, and headings to find out what the text is about. Okay. So this would be the title. Mm-hmm. And that would be the... So what's the title of this article? Master on the Mound. Master on the Mound. What does that mean? Probably they're talking about a pitcher. Ah, all right, because the and you're going to be way ahead of me on this one. But right, the pitcher stands on the mound. Yeah. And so if you're a master of something, you're in the top of the world. Yeah, absolutely. So Master of the Mound is probably going to be about a pitcher. So yeah. that's our our title. Title. And do we have a subtitle? Um, right, uh, right here. Yeah, sub means under, under, below. And so subtitles usually below the title. So they're talking about the Cardinals. With Wayne, Wayne, Wright. Wayne Wright continues to call f quickly, quietly, or quietly dominate the league hits. Hitters? Hitters. Ba is that batters? I yeah, batters. Okay. And I, I guess there's this Cardinals is a yeah, team. Yeah. And Wayne Wright is a player. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he he continues to quietly dominate the league's hitters. hitters yeah. Okay. So um, what do you think that article is going to be about? Oh, if anybody could hit off him. Oh, okay. So it's going to be about the, this guy Wayne Wright. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. So where is the heading? So like the heading of that picture. Okay, do you want to go ahead and read that? The, um, the, the Cardinals, Adam Wayne Ryder has allowed two or fewer earned runs in nine of 11 starts and leads the majors with a 1.67 ERA. Now, let's look at the illustration mm -hmm. for this article and see if it um, gives us further information. So, and, and could you actually read that step out loud to me, step two? Step two, look at the illustration for future information about the topic. Okay. So, what does that picture tell us? Uh, the picture. Okay, it's the picture. Yeah. Which we already knew because yeah. Master on the Mound and then we're talking about the sky. Yeah. Okay. And so, what else about that picture? How he's pitching. Yeah, what emotion or what attitude does that pitcher sort of give off in that picture? I would say he's going to throw a slider or a curveball at one of the batters. Okay. And his face is like tense. <laughs> yeah, he's really intent. He's very focused. So he's the hero of the day, Yeah. evidently. Okay, good. And then what's step three? Read the first and last sentence of each paragraph. So okay. 
So where's our first sentence? I'll be right here then. Okay. So be St. Louis. We fall in love with the radar gun. Gla gushing? Gushing over kids who throw in the triple digits, giving them more happy. Hype? Oh, hype than a Kardashian's wedding. Kardashian wedding. wedding. <laughs> wow. So um, do, yeah. do you know what that means? Um, probably how fast he throws with a radar uh, gun. We love these guys who who pitch these, you know, high games or whatever. Yeah. Um, that they're the star pitchers. Yeah. We love them. So does that give us a little bit of information about what this article is going to be about? Yeah. Great. So that was our first sentence of this paragraph. So this is now our last sentence of the paragraph. He threw 17 scoreless inning last week and heads into Friday starts against the San Francisco Giants with a 20 inning scoreless streak. Okay, very good. So that's the last sentence mm -hmm. of the paragraph. So does that um, does that also give you some information about the, the general idea of this article? Yeah. Okay. What does, what does that tell you? About how he's pitching, pitching the performance of the starter. Mm -hmm. Like what's the scouting port. So it kind of gives us a little idea what he, what he's going to do in this series. Okay. And then what is our fourth step? Um, don't read every word or every sentence. Let your eyes skim over the text, taking in the keywords. So we're we're just going to skim again. We're going to have our eyes run over the page, looking for key words. What's a key word? Something catches your eyes. Yeah, and like the important word. So like, would would a key word be a the? No. It. No. No. Okay. What are some key words? Do Names. you find some? Names, absolutely. So it says, story continues on 4C. Mm. Oh, here we go. Mm. Mm. Wayne Wright's still getting better. It's a different title, right? So this title is Master on the Mound. And then this is an, it's another title, right? Yeah. How do we know that this is the continuation? How do we know it's not... Ah, continued from 1C, yeah. very good. But, and also, who is the story about? Wayne Wright. Wayne Wright, okay, Wayne Wright still getting better. Yeah. So we know, okay, yeah, nothing else. This is about golf, yeah. well, I don't know who these people are, but this is, this is a baseball yeah. picture, so yeah. we're skimming this to see a, another picture. Um, good, so again, don't read every word, please, but just you know, skim, look, run your eyes over the rest of the mm -hmm. the article and what are some key words how many times he won his made his okay. record his era okay um how fast he pitches okay yeah like career of high 12 strikes scoreless eight eight scoreless innings okay did looking at, for those keywords do you have even more of a of a better general sense of what this article is about yeah Okay, and what is it about? About baseball, but um, what the pitcher could do, what he, what Wayne Wright could, did for the past couple years. Yeah, and also, so it's about his past performance, but his also present. Yeah, his present performance, yeah. and maybe his future. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. And so then, our fifth step is what? Think more about the meaning of the text. Okay, so. What? It, why are we reading this story? Why? Why is this story even in this paper, the sports section? The sports fans wanted to know what mm -hmm. was going on. But why this guy and not some other guy? That's today's topic of yes, you know, because, what happened yesterday. Because baseball. Because. <laughs> but is he just some ordinary baseball player? Well, he's famous for. The Cardinals, he's a Cardinal, Cardinals picture. Anything else that this um, skimming makes you think about this article? He, I guess he did a good job that day. That day. <laughs> Absolutely. The, the gist of this is he did a really good job um, 
of pitching, yeah. and and so that's why he's highlighted on this day. Yeah. Okay. Does this make you want to read this article? Oh yeah. Okay. So it was interesting to oh, you. Oh yeah, yeah, it was interesting. Okay. For you, you're gonna say, yeah, it's worth it for me to take more time and to invest my time into reading this whole article to get a deeper understanding. You've got, we both have a very superficial understanding of the article now from skimming, mm -hmm. but if you want a deeper understanding, you're going to, um, to read it fully yeah. now. You've just seen a learner and a tutor practicing skimming strategies to help the learner understand the gist of the text. You can use this strategy with a variety of texts for several different purposes, depending on your learner's interests and needs. The goal of practicing reading comprehension is for your learner to master and internalize more and more comprehension strategies to choose from and use in a variety of reading situations. You've seen a tutor do quite a bit of talking when explaining a new strategy. During most lessons, you and your learner would be equally talkative.